comp here for this evening. We've got, uh, what have we got? We've got 74 acts for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> that's sweet. As some of you laughed at that, the rest of you just sat there and went, oh, that's good value, isn't it? <clears throat> Are you ready for some comedy, everyone? Yeah. First on this stage, please give a lovely welcome to Kerry Godlyman. <laughs> religious icons, I'd say the Buddha, I mean, that bloke has won, hasn't he? I mean, he has shimmied in all over town. <laughs> There's Buddhas everywhere. There's a little Buddha down the nail bar. There's a little Buddha down the garden centre. People aren't popping into home base going, you got any Guru Nanooks, mate? <laughs> yeah, they're on R5 next to Lady Immaculate Fire Pit. But Buddha's there, isn't he? Little Buddha sat there between the slug pellets and the compost. <laughs> Please give a lovely welcome to Maisie Adam. You very rarely meet a 10 out of 10 on the Northern scale. I have only ever met one in my entire life, and that was my GCSE French teacher, um, Madame Dawson. She would swan into the classroom, quite like Liam Gallagher, and literally be like, bonjour tout le monde. <laughs> And you'd think, oh, Christ, we're not getting a GCSE out of this, are we? <laughs> Do you remember part of your GCSE exam was an oral? Do you remember that? Yeah, behave. Nobody ever spoke about their actual real-life hobbies, did they? Everybody said the same sentence, which was, at the weekend, I like to go to the swimming pool with my friends. <laughs> None of us went swimming when we were 16. It's only because you didn't know what was French for, I get shit-faced in a field off cheap vodka. <laughs> Please give a lovely welcome to Nigel Ng. You know, rice is a pretty big thing in Asia, if you don't know. You know, for like 10 kilos, that's the smallest sack of rice you can get in the shop in Asia, right? And then you go to your Tesco's here, you seem to have the most adorable little sachets of 100 gram rice. Like, who's that for, a fly? I sent a photo of that to my mom. She was like, why are they selling the free samples? <laughs> Every Asian household owns a rice cooker. Yeah, and I see you guys getting confused. When I say rice cooker, I don't mean you hire some Chinese guy. <laughs> oh, we got Maria, the cleaner, and now we got Yang, the rice cooker. Yeah. <laughs> Give a lovely welcome to Tanya Edward. <laughs> Very nice to be here, very nice just to be out of the house. I have a baby, well done me. I say baby, he's one now, big guy, big guy. He's keeping an eye on the flat tonight. <laughs> he's got to do his bit. My mother, she adores my son. She says that he's given her a new lease of life, which is a shame. <laughs> he giveth and he taketh away. I was back on stage very quickly after giving birth. A lot of people asked what the hurry was. You know, why are you racing back to those comedy clubs? So I'd explain, you know, I'm still looking for the daddy. <laughs> Please give a lovely welcome to Jeff Innocent. Sadly, whatever I wear, my look is always determined by my genetic makeup. It doesn't matter what I wear, I always end up looking like a fucking racist granddad. <laughs> Do you know what's funny about me looking so horribly racist? My wife is black. We, uh, we do that sort of thing in East London. Um, <laughs> not without problems, however, looking like me and having a black wife. There's certain things regular couples can do that we can't, sadly, because of my appearance. I mean, I, I couldn't, for example, chase her down the street <laughs> for anything. <laughs> I'll let you enjoy that image for a while. You know, and it could be something seemingly innocent, like, oh dear, she's left her phone indoors. They don't see the phone bit, do they? Please give a lovely welcome to Jan Raven! I mean, I am wondering, I am wondering if Theresa May uh, is wishing she'd made some different life choices, really. People of Britain, this is your Prime Minister. Just. I still believe passionately in Brexit. Everything I see I interpret as a sign for Brexit. The terrible results in the council elections. Hurry up and deliver Brexit. When Larry the Downing Street cat brings in an animal mutilated on the carpet. Hurry up and deliver Brexit. 
I saw the face of Jesus in a dog's bottom the other night. And he was absolutely astonished about the lack of Brexit. Give a lovely welcome, all you've got left, to Joel Dummett. Come on! The other day, there was someone outside my house being very loud late at night. I just I want to let you know, I gave him a piece of my mind immediately by closing my curtains angrily. <laughs> what happens when you close curtains angrily uh, is you close the top half angrily, and then the bottom half just it follows gracefully, doesn't it? Completely undermines the first half. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Where the window is a Venetian blind. You cannot close Venetian blinds angrily. It doesn't exist. You can't be like, ah, oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> you kids taking photos of your food. Didn't take photos of uh, food in the 70s, did we? No, because it was a logistical nightmare, wasn't it? Because you take the photo, and then you have to take another 23 photos to use up the roll. <laughs> Hoping to God it wasn't a 36. <laughs> and then you remove the film from the camera, put it in a bag, take it to Boots, wait for a week, and then go and pick it up and take it around your mates go, that's where for dinner last Tuesday. <laughs> and put your hands together for all the acts you've seen this evening. Kerry Godleyman, <laughs> Maisie Adam, Nigel Ung, Tanya Edwards, Jeff Innocent, Jan Ravens, and Joel Dummett. And uh, it's been nice talking to you. Thank you very much for coming. I'm Ian Stone. See you soon. Cheers. Ta-da.